Hi, David. Dennis here. Hey, um, I'm at my uh, Illusion Warehouse. Uh, actually, I should be showing you this, but this is a, a levitation device I bought from Copperfield many years ago, one of his first ones. Kind of a great levitation system. Um, I'll take you on a quick tour when I'm done. But anyway, I'm one of the, I, I have this cups and balls. I don't know when I'm gonna ever make it back to Chicago. Um, so I thought I would do a quick tutorial, show it to you, and then uh, I'll send it to you in the mail and you can have some fun with it. But basically, cups and balls, uh, I think I mentioned to you, is kind of one of the first tricks that most magicians learned when they were young. I learned this when I was probably, uh, I don't know, 11 years old, 10, 11 years old. But it's a classic. Uh, basically, we have three balls. One, two, three. Three balls. Remind them not to show that line. And then I have basically three solid cups. You can actually say solid cups. And so what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to uh, put one cup here. Actually, I'm going to put the ball here first. I'm going to take one of the balls. I'm going to put it on that cup. And you can kind of see it's pretty solid. Put the ball right there. And then I'm going to take these two cups and put them on the top. Now watch what happens. I'm going to tap the top. And if it worked, look what came through. <laughs> the ball. All right, so let's 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 try that again. So I got one ball under this cup, right? One ball. Let's take this one here. I said it there. We're going to do it again. So there's one ball underneath, one ball on the top, two cups. Tap the top. Pass, right? So if this worked, how many balls should I have underneath? Right, two, <laughs> two balls. <laughs> okay, one, two. I think you can see that. So let's try that again, only we're gonna make it a little bit more difficult. So we got two balls underneath. I'm gonna try and pass it through two cups. Okay, so one, two, two cups. So there's what, two balls underneath. This is the third ball. And we're gonna take this cup and put this cup on the top. You ready? One, two, three, pass. All right, so there should be three balls underneath if it worked. And there we go, one, two, three, three balls. <laughs> All right, here comes the fun part. We're gonna take those three balls, put them together like that, and then we're gonna put the cup on the top, like that. So three balls underneath. What I didn't show you in the beginning, I showed you three balls. There's really a fourth ball right here. It's it uh, my little invisible ball. Um, and what we're gonna do is something, you see that, right? You see that invisible ball. I'm gonna put this cup here, I'm gonna put this cup here, and we're gonna take this ball, invisible ball, we're gonna put it up, oh, whoops, wait, it just rolled away. Okay, there, we're gonna put that ball on the top. You see the ball? Now watch, this is very magical, because you can see the, see the invisible ball, right? And when I clap my hands, that ball's gonna pass down through one, two, three cups. And if it worked, we should have one, two, three, four balls. Okay? Pretty cool? <laughs> right? And and you can do this and just pass it around to everybody. You can kind of look at the, look at the cups and, and actually look at the balls as well. Uh, you're probably sitting there going, holy shit, uh, that's amazing. Um, you're actually going to teach me how to do this. Well, okay, I'm going to teach you how to do this. <laughs> okay. Um, are you ready? Okay. So we start this trick with the fourth ball in this cup, okay? And we put this cup on top of it, so it looks like that. So when you start this routine, you wanna take a cup out, and you know you listen to, the, it's called patter, listen to the patter, I got three balls, I got basically three cups, there's one, okay? And then you take the one on the bottom, which has the ball in it, one, two, and you turn it over quick, so there's the ball in it, okay? It's pretty simple. We take this ball and we're going to set it there. I'm going to take these two cups, pass, or whatever words you want to use, and there's the ball. And see, when you flip it over, it's solid because the ball is really in there. So when you take this out, flip it, and then you flip this one, and basically the second ball is already underneath that. So we take this ball, hopefully I'm not going too fast, set it there, take these two cups on top, tap the top and now we've got the two balls 
basically underneath. And I always show the two balls there, you know, and you can kind of, you don't want to do this, okay, but you can say, you know, all right, empty, and there's the ball, and then you want to flip it there, and there. Now we're going to make it a little bit more difficult. We're going to try and pass it through two cups. And if it works, we should have how many underneath? We should have three. One, two, three. And I separate them like that. And you can hold the cups like that because you can't see. So let's try something here, which is very, um, now remember, now the ball, because we passed them two, is under that one, under the bottom one. And you can, if you're doing this, you can always take a cup, but don't lean it that way to the audience. You lean it this way, and you know there's the ball is inside. And you just flip it over real quick. And then you do your invisible ball routine. Invisible ball on the top. Pass, and there's your four balls, and there's your three cups that everybody can inspect because you basically, oops, we have my fourth ball all the way. Anyway, that's kind of, that's kind of cups and balls. Um, I'll put it together and send it out to you. This is just, you know, one half of my warehouse, a costume trunk, a couple, bunch of other things. I'm actually working on uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child doing all the special effects. Um, for that, it's going to be coming up in November. Um, I guess some really cool effects that I'm working on. But anyway, um, conversation for another day. All right, I'm going to pack this up and I'm going to ship it to you. And uh, I'll also, um, I'm going to put this up in uh, my YouTube channel and you'll get the link to it so you can watch it at any time. Anyway, uh, it was so nice meeting you when I was there with uh, Victoria and Tony. I'm actually working on uh, Found. Uh, one of Tony, or one of, I'm sorry, Victoria shows that she did like 10 years ago. So that's going to be fun as well. Um, all right. Uh, good luck. And certainly if you have any questions, uh, we can always get on the Zoom uh, once we start practicing this uh, cups and bowls. Talk to you later. Take care.